Okay, we're into a proper proper game mode now, and we've finalised all of the sort of training that we need to do in terms of the behaviours that I've been showing to myself <coughs> um, when playing games and losing advantages when don't need to lose the advantages because quite a lot of the games I'm actually achieving a good sort of adv advantageous type positions in the games um, but somehow it's it seemed to be falling short of being nice so what we've done is broken it down logical thinking creative thinking and then the extra bit on the end was around basically the it's fine syndrome so once i've got to a good position where maybe i'm slightly advantageous my brain then goes into ah oh, well i don't necessarily need to do any further calculation so i'll just make the moves as i see fit and the moves should be okay because i'm actually winning and i've been falling foul of that in quite a few games and i've been wondering i've been going through the logical thinking creative thinking i've been nailing those so that's been quite good getting me to the advantageous stage but then after that something was happening so i thought well there's something missing in the development and it was this oh it's fine syndrome so for the road for 1800 that we're going on to now the slow jog I have ironed out all of those. I've had about say 50 odd games here today. I'm um, just practicing and practicing and ironing out as best possible and still make blobs. But because I'm focused now on that actual small element like we did with the creative and logical, it seems to be improving a little bit. So just pushing through onto the pawn and not too sure really what that is knights coming in bishop could take we could just take the pawn here for now can't really see that being a problem it's wanting to open up space around our king so that he can open you know attack so i don't really want to play those sort of situations so i'm actually going to bring my queen here He's not he don't, doesn't look like he wants to castle this side. I think he wants to castle queen side. He's wanting to open up this space around our yeah. So he's going for the exchange. I, I can freely do that. So now he's probably going to castle queen side, king side. Uh, even though he's got his messed up pawn structure. Let's put a bit of pressure on this pawn here. Like I said, I tend to get good advantageous positions, and that really now the, now's the time to try and not lose that impetus that I keep building up for myself because it's annoying when you go through a long game and so I'll just capture here keep it simple when you go through a long game and then you just um, fluff it develop the knight maybe attack a few pawns across here so I'm trying to get to that state of naturalness as we do. Um, I'm treating this as a proper game. We've had about 50 odd training games, so I'm going to treat this as a proper game. So I'm going to push through here. That seems advantageous for us. He doesn't have to take. He could just do the box shape, or he could just leave it all together if he's wanting to do so. But we're trying to get some sort of open file, which we're probably, if we take, if we push on. It's probably more likely to take with that pawn if he pushes down then it still opens up so if we'd captured here he'd have kept it kind of locked down still even though we would have had this pawn in our sights again he doesn't have to do anything but if we touch here then he captures here okay so he's um knight could jump here pushes down we take Maybe just leave the knight there. Let's open this way. See if we can open this side. He doesn't want to open up anywhere at all. He wants to keep it all locked down. He can't castle queen side now. So I'm going to open up. Get the check. Oh, you see. He doesn't even want to check on his king either. And that's what I need to do. Obviously stop moving fast. But just keep it nice and steady. Looking for doubling up maybe. Or just capturing now. Let's capture. Keep it simple. It's actually taken with the rook. 
okay let's put pressure on the pawn giving them something to think about and this is where our knight could come here but it doesn't have any legs in terms of from here where does it go this pawn's blocking everything off so if we pushed here then he pushed down then we could start moving the knight but he's then going to have a proper passer maybe the knight comes here attacks this pawn in the meantime gives it something to think about do we take or do we just push past or he's probably just going to support it okay so don't want the knight to be stuck there forever so let's just go here see what we can do okay so we've opened up shall we equalize the pawns on each side yeah let's do that and i think the kings are going to start coming into place attacking this pawn our knight's protecting but is he looking to work his way around okay get the kings over what's he looking to do outposty type thing here let's get the king up yeah he's gone for the outposty thing maybe he's just attacking our rook or does he see a fork of some sort if my king comes here I could attack him with my knight what's he got one 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 just attacking the rook really but I don't know attacks the rook it's no big biff let's attack the knight what are we on five minutes move the king attacking so he's got this um, pawn here that's not got any protection on apart from the knight so we can grab his pawn takes and then he's got a passer okay we take his pawn takes or maybe his rook takes even no, his pawn will take. King can sit in front of the pawn, can't it? And then he gets a two on one type thing or something. But he's going to have to protect this pawn as well. Yep, yeah, so he protects that pawn as well. If we push up, he pushes down. If we come into oops excuse me if we come into this gap here do we lose out i mean he could come here he's coming around for this pawn our king can't do that mm -hmm. let's bring the rook up maybe look to push if we can push moves this rook out of the way but I think he'll probably go here because he's still wanting to protect this pawn but we can take this pawn so the equal pawns on that side is pushing down so it might have been a way of pushing here but it's, um, we've got an advantage which is this extra pawn now so it's at this stage here where I need to throw away the it's fine let's have a look at what the opponent does react to that could push put a check on the king could push the king up to attack the rook this rook's looking for to come in here isn't he so if we went if we take and he takes push up hmm in this situation I think going for checks first shouldn't be too bad I 
And then maybe we can push onto the rook. Oh, he's going for the exchange. Okay, so this is a nice ending. So if we take, he takes, then we have options. We can come around the back, which probably might not be any good because then he pushes down and blocks our way. Then we can push up. So then we're, looks like we're in advantageous position. So we push up. He's taking, so we grab. So we can push up because he has to think about this pawn now. He has to defend against this pawn. We can come across if we wanted to. Come across just to um, win a bit of time if it all goes wrong to be taking this pawn. But we'll just go here now. The king is on the proper side now. So if we push up, he's just going to go there. So we may as well come down, hadn't we? go down let's just come across again make him think it's going to be a draw I uh, hope it doesn't flag up a draw now uh, let's go here let's take push push okay we can push one more I think at least it's not on the far flank now so I think we should be okay pushing through here I think we should because it's going to have to go to one side or the other and we've got space for our king to move and that's job done I think two minutes check so there's no stalemate type thing check and mate excellent so that's the thing that we've been working on this it's fine sort of mentality um, after we've done the logical thinking, creative thinking, then thinking, okay, we've got the advantage, so we don't need to do any further major calculations. Mm -hmm. Knocking that on the head and going, we need to calculate, make sure that we're checking what the opponent's doing at every stage and being able to respond to that. Simple as that, isn't it? <laughs>